Hi, this is Dan Nelder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this video about outline levels and summary bars in Milestones Professional. First, I'm going to add some tasks to this first section with the plus tool. I'm going to select the small plus tool and click and drag on these three task rows. And that looks pretty good. Uh, so let's say these are my three subtasks. Right now, if I click on the arrow tool, I can click on these rows and I'll see that they are actually set to be outline level one. So this upper level task is also outline level one. So we need to indent these tasks using the outline level button. You can also select multiple tasks at the same time if you hold shift and then you can move them all at once. So now you can see these are all set to outline level two and then this one is outline level one. So all of these level two tasks are gonna be summarized on this outline level one task. To set up the options for the summary bar, let's go to the Layout tab. And over kind of on the right side, you'll see Summary Bar Settings. Click on that. And then you'll get this Summary Bar Settings dialog that pops up. You've got all these options up here. I'm going to go over some of these in a little bit. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to turn the summary bar on. So right now it says When to Draw Never. I'm going to change it to always. Uh, and now for the summary bars themselves, you can actually choose you know, different symbols and bars that you want to show for the summary bar. Uh, right now I'm using that first row in the toolbox. So you can see uh, I'm using these first two invisible symbols here for the start and finish. And then the bar is actually just the first bar in the dropdown. The dropdown kind of follows the toolbox. So you can see the red bar is that first one. And then this brownish bar is that second one. Um, so I'm just going to press OK, and then you can see that summary bar automatically gets drawn on that outline level one task. Now if I want to do the same thing with the second section, I can actually just hold shift and kind of select all these tasks at once, change the outline level to two, and now when I add these uh, symbols and bars using the small plus tool, you'll see that the summary bar automatically shows up. So I'm just kind of clicking and dragging, and there we go. One more thing I'll talk about is the ability to go to the Layout tab and go to Summary Bar Settings. And you can actually split the summary bars using lower level symbols and bars. So instead of a single uh, big bar like this, it's actually going to use these lower level symbols and bars. So I'm going to check Split Summary Bars, press OK. And then you can kind of see it put everything onto one row. Um, up here on the first section, it's kind of problematic because everything is kind of overlapping. Uh, but what you can do in that case is use your arrow tool. And you're going to want to select the first symbol um, in a symbol bar symbol combination right here. So I'm going to select that symbol and hold shift on my keyboard and then press up or down on the keyboard arrow keys. So you can see any change I make in this lower level is gonna affect that summary level. So if I wanted to move that one up one level, maybe I'll move this one down one level, hold shift again, press down. Uh, then you can see it kind of spaced out those uh, bars right there. And if you want to, you could kind of expand this row a little bit. And then you can see all of those you know, symbols and bars are now rolled up to that summary level. And then another thing you can do is right click on this row. You have the option to collapse selected task row. And then that actually rolls up everything onto that summary level. So I could do the same thing here. Again, right click collapse selected task row and everything rolls up. So now I can have lots of tasks um, all kind of summarized on the summary level. And you can see each one of them individually. Baseline and baseline summaries uh, work in a pretty similar fashion. Uh, the only thing is you're gonna go to the Layout tab and go to Baseline Settings to set up the Baseline Summary Bars. Uh, we actually have a video on baselines, inserting a baseline, and managing the baseline summaries, uh, which you can also check out. That's pretty much it for the short video on Outline Level and Summary in Milestones Professional. Check out our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.